Hi, I'm Alison Pullen, a Professor of Organisation Studies working for the People, Organisations and Work Group at Swansea University. And over the years, I've, my work has uh, focused on the ways in which organisations influence people in organisations, particularly the ways in which organisations affect our identities in organisations. So rather than just looking at the activities that uh, people perform, the decisions that they make, they make, the tasks that they do, I've always been interested in how work influences who we are in organisations and how they enable us or not enable us to be the people that we want to be in organisations. For example, in my monograph Managing Identity, I looked at the ways in which um, organisational restructuring and change influenced middle managers' identities, looking particularly at the ways in which these performances are gendered. Um, highlighting issues of power and change and control in organisations and my subsequent work has, um, has picked up on this as well. Um, in, in particular I've contributed to the work organisations and gender field by analysing the ways in which people's uh, work performances, the ways in which they perform their identities are of course informed by gendered practices the ways in which people draw on femininity and masculinity in these um, in these performances and here I've been uh, uh, I've been uh, passionate about raising uh, inequality in organizations marginalization discrimination objection and repression and this body of work has sought to um, to, I guess, challenge the inequalities that organisations often, uh, often produce. Um, so I guess part of this um, obsession with gendered analysis of organisation is the need to read organisational cultures, processes, relationships structured as gendered. And uh, I've been particularly uh, interested in all of this work to explore organisational experience as something that's embodied and effectual, i.e. I've uh, always been interested in the ways in which people relate to each other um, in corporeal ways. The fact that you know we bring fleshy bodies to work and that our skin mediates that organisational experience. And in doing this, the corporeal, ethical and political features of organisation surface. Some of the um, some of my current empirical projects that I'm working on uh, uh, currently include bullying in organisation and particularly reading the ethical nature of, uh, of bullying in organisations. Um, also looking at suicide amongst senior executives and professionals in organisation and looking at dom domesticity and the ways in which that informs women's ways of knowing. Um, I've worked with uh, a range of organisations and a range of people uh, from accountants to public sector workers to senior female executives um, and it doesn't matter who you are in organisations I would argue that work influences our experience and our lived realities of who we are in, in these organisations. Um, in, in saying this, uh, some of the more theoretical and philosophical projects um, ongoing currently is looking at the ethical nature of leadership and developing a, a critique of what I would call feminine leadership in organisations so that we can understand more sophisticatedly gendered processes as it uh, relates to leadership practice. I'm uh, also developing uh, critiques of diversity management in organisations, masculinity and work, ethical political organisations and uh, sexuality in organisations. So collectively uh, what all of this uh, means is that I uh, continue to develop a critical appreciation of how work affects people's lives, about who they are and who they can become in organisations, that perhaps we can achieve more fair, equitable and tolerant workplaces in which we can all, what I would call, live a more livable life.